This is a quick demonstration of the integration between SAP Solution Manager and WorkSoft Certify. I've been assigned an activity within the Test Workbench of Solution Manager. Let's take a look. You can see here I've been assigned to test SAP Order to Cache. Let's dive deeper. You can see the hierarchy of the test plan and of the various business processes we've captured. In this particular example, my order to cache has an automated test associated with it. It is a WorkSoft certified test. As I click on the icon, I can go through the exercise of executing this test. Let's begin. The first thing I'll do is I'll log in to certify. And I'll be prompted with the execution capability. So, in this particular example, what I'll do is I'll capture screenshots on failed steps. So let's begin the execution. So I'm going to log on to SAP through my automated test, and I'm going to focus on all the key steps related to order to cache. The first step involves creating a sales order. During the process of creating a sales order, what we're going to do is capture the corresponding sales order number that gets created by SAP, and we're going to store that information inside of a variable because we want to use that value later on as part of our business test. You can see in the bottom of the screen, 17904 has been created. So now we're going to create an outbound delivery referring to that sales order number. And we're going to create a new delivery number and it is 8001607. So both of those pieces of information are critical to continue the rest of the business test. So now we're going to take a look at the sales order. And you can see we're going to capture the information related to the transfer request. Display the transfer order and confirm it. Now we're going to create a billing document. You can see the delivery information that's part of that billing document. And the test is now considered complete. So we're now back inside a solution manager and we can display the log that was generated by that automated test. So what I'll do is I'll navigate through the corresponding execution log. And you can see that there was a particular failure in this test. So it failed during the step of creating a billing document. So what I'll do is I'll navigate down to the particular step that caused the failure. And you can see on the Create Billing Document screen, we were hoping to verify that the processing status was not equal to incorrect, and unfortunately it was. So what we can do now is drill down into the corresponding test results within Certify. So what I'll do is I'll click on this link and what it does, it brings me the equivalent results within Certify. Now when I ran through that particular test, what I decided to do was create a screen snapshot when an error condition occurred. So let me navigate to the failed step. You can see that the narrative of this failed step equates to the information that we captured within the Log of Solution Manager. I can now click on the Test Step Image tab, and as I navigate to the screen snapshot, you can see here's where we were trying to verify the processing status and unfortunately it was incorrect. So we have validated exactly on what part of the application that the test failed in conjunction with the corresponding screen snapshot. So let's go back now to Solution Manager. Based on that execution of the test you can see that the corresponding status of this test is an error condition. I can click on this traffic light indicator and I can review the history of the execution of this particular test so we keep track of every log that we generate within Solution Manager. And if we were using Solution Manager to manage our defects, what we could do is create a support message and have it associated with this particular execution of a test case. That concludes our very quick demonstration of the integration between SAP Solution Manager and WorkSoft Certified.